everybody, it's Matthew Reiner here, and welcome to art class. As you had known, I really like Halloween. It's the, and, it, and it's coming, it's coming soon. Anyways, I thought we would make, um, since I have a decoration for my door already, I thought we would today make our own skeleton decoration for the door or anywhere a wall decoration. What we're going to do is we're going to take some cardstock and we're going to use some other supplies like uh, markers, glue, um, scissors, of course, and we're going to use what are called brads. I don't know why they're called brads, but they are. And um, I got some friends named Brad. I think they deserve being named after him. But um, we're going to use some brads. We're going to use uh, a hole punch. And we're going to make our very own articulated paper skeleton to go on the wall for Halloween or for any time during the year, or um, for Day of the Dead or, or anything. If you just want to have a skeleton on your, on your wall, hey. Um, all right, we're going to take this piece of cardstock. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right down the middle, just like this. And what I think we're going to do, this is going to become our skull. That's going to become our skull. Um, but uh, what we need to do is, once we've cut it, uh, this strip, I'm going to put this up here. That's our scrap. We're going to fold it in half, just like that. So, so now it's in half, right? And what I'm going to do with my pencil, let's, let's move in here. Let's move in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some of this skull, but I'm going to draw only half of it because we want to, and I'm only going to do the top part here and I'm not going to make it fancy. Look, I'm just going to make a hole for the eyeball, right? And it's about right there. And I'm going to make the little um, nasal opening right there. That's where the nose is when you have skin. Um, but a skeleton does not, obviously, right? And, um, you know, you can make yours cuter than you want to. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can, in fact, you can make it cutesy or, or whatever, chibi or whatever you want to call it. You can make it however you want to make it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a little spot that's kind of like that. That's going to be, we're going to make some teeth, like kind of like that. And then that's going to be there. And then... That's it. Okay, so I made that. This is this is um, where I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm just going to kind of cut out some of these pieces. And see, now I'm using little scissors here, and I'm just cutting out those teeth. I'm just going to kind of do it like that. I made these shapes. Now your skull could look however you want. You can change yours. Yours does not have to look like mine, but this is going to be the bottom part of the skull where kind of this space right there. And oh, what do I do with this? Well, I could take my hole punch and I could, because sometimes it's hard to get in there. Now, look, I made a hole. Cut out that hole. Could cut that out. I know what you're saying, but Matthew, you're only making half of the head. Well, you're going to see in a minute what, now you're going to see I folded it in half. So what happens when we are cutting through here? We're actually cutting through two sides of our paper. I'm going to do a little bit of a, here's where the nose part is, just like that. All right. And what's great when you fold a piece of paper like this in half and then you cut through is, it's on both sides. Look at that. Ooh, he's kind of spooky. Cool. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to curl it back onto itself like that for the top of the skull, which I think would be cool. But you know what? I think there's too much space up there. So let's take our scissors. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to snip off that top part there. That's pretty good. Just like that. That's pretty cool. All right. So we've got our skull. And what we're gonna what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna actually let's use some double stick tape, okay? And I'm gonna put some double stick tape on the back here, just on this strip, just like that. See how that goes, right there. And okay, so I've got pencil on this side, so I'm gonna put that on the inside so I don't see it. And I'm just gonna 
roll it back onto itself like this and stick it to itself. Make a cylinder. What we're doing is we're just digging up a piece of paper and making a cylinder out of it. Now it's kind of hard to make a, like a real round skull shape with paper. It can be done, but we want to do this easier. So it's going to be kind of cylindrical, but that's okay. So there is our skull, but we need to do the lower jaw. I still think I don't like this. This head is a little too tall. So I'm going to take this back apart. You know, sometimes you make mistakes. It's okay. You just pull it apart, fold it back on itself, just like that. I'm going to change the shape a little. Maybe like there. There we go. Now what do I do? I just put some more double stick back on there where it was and retape it on itself. No big deal. Some people get all stressed out if they make mistakes. Uh, don't be, because that's all I do is make mistakes. That's much better. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold our cylinder. See how it makes sort of a cylinder? We're going to hold our cylinder over another piece of cardstock. And we're going to make sort of a circle. We're going to trace sort of a circle around it. So see how I'm kind of holding it like this? We're going to trace, at least we're going to trace a circle on one side. Let's see. Now let's do the whole thing. There's, there. Oh, that, that doesn't look like a circle. Let's see here. It's kind of, it kind of doesn't make a circle. It kind of makes more of a, I don't know what the shape that is. That's sort of a, I don't know, a sort of drop. It looks like a drop. You know what I mean? A teardrop. A drop. I don't even know words. By the end of the day, you guys, I, my, my dad, now what I just did was I'm marking the center because I'm going to fold it right down the center so that I have it equal on both sides. Let's cut this out. And you're just eyeing all this, right? We're just eyeing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to cut it out and make it nice. Maybe make it a little rounder. OK, so that's going to go on the top of the head, just like that. I made it a little too big, so let's cut it down. Again, got to make it so that it fits over the top of the, the skull cylinder that we just made. Okay, see, oh, that looks really good. See how that fits? And we're just going to use some one-sided tape. This is not double-sided tape. Ooh, this one has hair all over it. Eek. So we're going to use this re regular, like, transparent tape. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tape. And see how I have that lining up with the center here? I'm just going to tape it down to the side of the head. There's our skull. That's going to be the skull. I kind of like that he has this head like this. And we can take some scissors and, you know, if we want, we can make this rounder down here. Like, I'm just going to round that off a little. There we go. Okay. There's our skull. Oh, but you know what he needs? Uh, it needs a, um, a jaw. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take another piece of cardstock. I'm just going to take a little rectangle like this. And I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to sort of make a U shape out of it. Okay. Just like that. Let's see. Is that, how's that look? Hmm. That's a little too big, don't you think? That's a little too big. Maybe the U needs to be a little smaller. Let's see here. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little scissors. Remember how we did this before? I'm going to cut out some teeth, just like before. It's almost like I'm flossing with those scissors. I'm getting in there, getting in there deep with the scissors and, and making the different teeth on there, just like that. See how messy my desk gets? All right, and then maybe what I'll do is snip that off. So there's our U shape, and that's going to be our jaw. And we're going to just, we're going to glue it, or tape it rather. We're going to use some double stick right here, and some double stick right here on each parts of the jaw. And we're just going to tape it up and under 
Make sure it's kind of centered. See how it's centered there? Tape it up and underneath the cheekbones there. Look at that. And we can fold it if you want. Look, we could fold this if we want to really make it look kind of, look at, I'm just folding it in different ways to, to sculpt it and see if it looks a little bit more. Ooh, how do you like that? Ooh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So there's our skull. So let's put him up there. Scully. There you go, Scully. He's going to sit right there. Right, now we got to do we got to do the um like the torso and that's going to be the rib cage and then the pelvis and all that sort of stuff. So let's take another sheet of paper and let's turn it on its side. And I think this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to fold it in half like that. I'm going to cut out we're going to make the rib cage so I'm going to cut out a shape kind of like this. And then I'm going to cut out another shape kind of like this for the pelvis. Let's look and see. What does that? That's that pelvis is going to be a little too big. Let's do it a little bit less like that and more like that. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be where the backbone is. These are going to be the ribs and what they we're going to do is we're going to fold them in on themselves kind of like that. You like that? You like that? But what we've got to do is we, we've got to cut out the actual ribs. We're going to cut them out with, um, so let's see, how should we do it? Oh, I know how we're going to do it. Watch this. So we want to make ribs, right? Let's do it like this. We're going to just cut out some space. All right, awesome. So now when we unfold it, we have all these ribs. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tape tape, and we're gonna fold it in on itself. We don't even need to fold it, actually. We're just gonna curve the paper. Watch how, see how it's curved? And I'm gonna tape it down. Maybe I'll do two at once. And this way we can make all, oh, this is cool. This is cooler than I thought I was gonna do. <laughs> see, sometimes you make a mistake and you don't know that it might end up being cool. We're just gonna tape it down Look at that. We're going to tape each one down separately and then we can get different looking ribs. Oh, that is so cool. Some can be more inward. Oh, I love that. You see how I'm just like kind of curling the um, paper? And you can have them curl inwards or downwards if you want. Like that. Look. That's cool. And then if you want, you can kind of move it around and, ooh, look at those ribs. That's cool. Let's do it on this side down. All right, so there's our torso and there's our, oh, our head. Oh, that's cool. All right, now we need to make a backbone and I'm just gonna cut a strip from the scrap paper I have. Okay, just like a long strip, something like that. And if you want to strengthen it, what we can do, and I think I'm going to do this, I'm going to use some glue, and I'm, I'm going to spread it on here just a little bit, just a little bit of like craft glue. And I put only, I only put glue on half of it, now not that much, and then I'm just going to fold it back on itself. So that'll make this part really, really strong. Okay, so it's folded over. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right there. And that's going to be the neck. You know what I think I'm going to do, though? I think I'm going to curve it just like that. That's going to be the, the backbone. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're going to use a little glue, glue this to the back of our rib cage. Right in the center. And you can make your head as long as you want. If you get a little too much glue there, you can just wipe it off. Press it down. Oops, let's get in, get in the frame, get in the frame. Okay, let's see how that looks. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And if you want to make it extra strong, we can use some tape and tape it on the sides here too. Tape plus glue equals so strong. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is going to be, oh, that's so cool. Look, we're starting to get there. Look at that. Okay. Next up, we need to make some connection points for the shoulders, right? And so let's just take, I'm just going to take this piece here um, of, of scrap paper and I'm just going to make, let's see the shoulders. Uh, let's see. I'm going to cut out a piece and the shoulders are going to go across on the back. So I think we can just fold this in half. We just need to make kind of a shape like this. I don't even know what to call this shape. More like a, there we go. And we're going to glue it on the back right here. And so I'm just going to use a little glue. People go glue crazy. We are not going to go too glue crazy, but we still want to make it stick, right? So there we go. That's going to be where the where the uh, shoulders are going to go. And then you, you can see it's on the back of the rib cage, right? And I'm also using some tape here just to tape it down, just so it's good and strong. All right, so there it is. There are the shoulders in the back. This is the pelvis. Now we've got that. Let's, let's get this out of the way. All right, now we need to get started on the arms and the legs. And let's see, for the legs, we're going to need one uh, piece of cardstock. And for the arms, we're going to need one piece of cardstock. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to take um, this first. This is where we're going to do the legs first. Let's fold it in half. All right, just like that. Let's fold it in half. Then let's fold those pieces in half. Just like that. And fold that in half. Okay. And then, this is crazy, we're going to fold each one of those in half. All right, so we folded this into eight different sections long ways. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we're gonna fold it, we're gonna cut it along, we're gonna cut it into four sections. Each section should be halved. So there's one. That's a lot of math. That sounds like a lot of math you're talking about, math. No, we're just gonna cut it into four pieces. So there's one, two, And three and four. Woohoo! All right. Now, we're going to use our glue. And we're going to, the, the reason why we did these doubled up, and these are the skeleton legs and things. The reason why we did this is we want to make it extra strong. These are going to be the bones for the legs. And um, we want to make it extra strong, so we want to double it up. So we're going to use our glue, and we're going to glue one side. Oops, oh, I used it too much. Ooh, be careful you don't over glue. See, look what I did there. I over glued. Here's what I do when I ever do that. I wipe it on another piece so that I can, it's like, let me share my glue with you. Okay. So, so there's just not so much glue because then you never have, you ever have that happen on a project when you're making an art project and you just get too much glue everywhere and then it sticks to itself and it, you know, you just, oh, it's just a big mess and it never dries. Well, that's what happened. So, we are going to glue it together and it's going to, we're going to glue it um, each piece and it's going to be skinny like this. So you're going to fold it over onto itself. But you want to make sure that there's a little glue on all the edges so that it all glues to itself, right? These are our leg sections. While we're letting that dry, we're going to take another piece of cardstock and we're going to fold it in half going long ways. I mean, not tall ways, but long ways, whatever. It's hamburger fold, hamburger, mm, still hungry. Fold it in half. We're gonna fold each of those halves in half. And guess what? Can you guess, can you guess? Can you guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna fold each one of these quarters in half. And you know how many sections we're gonna have at the end of it? How many do you think? Can you guess? Well, I'm going to cheat and tell you eight. You're going to have eight sections. 
Now this one you're gonna notice, remember this time when we did these for the legs, those are longer, these are gonna be shorter. Okay, so I'm just folding it just like this and they don't have to be super perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sections. And what do we do? Every second one, we cut it. So there's one and we're gonna have four pieces. All right, so let's take the leg pieces. These are the arms, which are a little shorter than the leg pieces. So let's put away the arms, let those dry. These are the leg pieces. And what we're gonna do is, oh, let's look at our skeleton drawing. Okay, so they're a little bit longer, but let's see if we're gonna make the knees, the thighs and the knees. Whoa, that's way too long, right? Ooh, that is way too long. So we're just gonna take that piece We're just gonna take that piece, both of these pieces, and we're gonna make them a little shorter. So let's see, cut that off. Yeah, we may use this later. How do these look for legs? Oh, that's pretty good. It's a nice, tall, skinny skeleton. I like that. It's pretty good. Maybe we'll round the tops, just like that. And then, oh, let's round the top of this too. So this is gonna be the thigh. See, there's the pelvis. That's gonna be the thigh. And that's gonna be where the knee is. And we're gonna to need to make some feet. Oh, let's do the same thing for this piece. So let's go, let's take this piece. We're gonna hold it. This is gonna be for the other leg. We're just gonna round it off, just like that. And then for this piece, we're just gonna hold it on top here. And we'll cut off the edges. There's one, there's two. Now, if you want, what we can do, oh, let's use our hole punch because I've been really excited to use this. Okay, so we're gonna need to attach it to our pelvis. So we're gonna hole punch it here and here. And then we need to attach do a hole punch up here. And let's look for the other rounded top. Oh, this one, here we go. And here. And let's get our brads. Hey, Brad. Hey, Brad, where are you? I'm right here. We're gonna take one of these brads and we're gonna stick it through the top of the thigh and we're gonna stick it through the pelvis part. And look, just gonna spread it apart. And look, now the leg moves. Look at that. So let's do the same thing here. Let's make some feet. And we'll just use some, some of our cardstock that we had left over here. See, I did two at the same time. So now I have two. There's one foot. And I'm just gonna use my glue and I'm gonna stick it on the end just like this. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, so we got one leg. We got one leg going. So look at that. We got our legs. Oh. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's make the arms now. Now we have these pieces, they're nice and dry. And we're gonna, um, let's look at our drawing here. Now the arms actually need to be a little shorter and skinnier. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna round off the ends and sort of make the arms about, let's see, that long. That looks about good, right? Because the le legs, yeah, that looks about good. Just like that. Okay, so there's one. So that needs to be the upper and the bottom part of the arm. So let's do that for all of them. I'm just gonna hold this on top. And what are we gonna do? Trace cut. Right. 
So there we go. We've got, this is going to be where the elbow is. So let's take our hole punch and let's punch the each end. Now, before we use our brads to connect these together, we're also going to use our um, hole punch. And we're going to punch holes where the shoulders are. See, there's one right there. There's one right there. See, I already did that because I got a little hole punch crazy earlier. All right. I think we can put you away for right now. And now let's connect using our Brad. Oh, Brad, come back here, Brad. And we're going to connect it to the shoulder. This is the top part of the arm. What do we do? We put the Brad through both holes. And now we have these extra, these these here for the wrists, for the hands. Well, his hands are, you know what? I I made holes there, but I, I think those, that part of the arm's a little long, so I'm gonna shorten it just a bit. It's okay to do this stuff, because we're, we're kind of putting it together and seeing how things work. Okay, so that that's pretty good. Let's do it this way. That's pretty good, but you know what we're missing? Hands. So let's make some hands. Let's get some extra cardstock. We got some over here. Let's see, we have some scrap. Oh, I got some. I just got one more piece. Here we go. Let's take this and let's uh, cut a strip going across this way. Just like that. And I'm going to fold it in half like that. And so that we are making two at the same time. And now I'm just going to cut out. going to glue them right down here. I thought I was going to use brads for them, but I don't think I'm going to because I don't think I have enough brads. So I'm just going to glue the hands down and you can on the ends of the wrists and they can be whatever position you want them to be. Oh, let's see. His arms are kind of like that. I think I'm going to, oops, do it that way. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Now we got to add the head. So the head is going to go right there, just like that. So what do we do? Let's take our hole punch. It's going to punch right through the back of the head there. Take our last brad. Actually, I got one more brad, just in case. Just in case I lose a brad. And we're going to stick it through the hole on the inside of the head. See that? And we're going to stick it through the neck piece and flatten it on the back. And look at that. We have, oh, oh my gosh, our own articulated skeleton with the ribs. Ooh. Look at that. Now it's time to decorate. Now you can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use whatever you want. You can also, um, if you want, if, if you don't like the shapes that we've made, we can also cut along um, the edges to, to make it look a little bit more like bones. Oh, here he is, our very own articulated door decoration skeleton. Ooh, look at that. Look at his arms move, leg move, the head moves. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I did all kinds of decorating on there. I did like glitter glue. You can do whatever you want to make your skeleton extra cool. And you know what? I think, um, let's go try this out and see what it looks like hanging on the wall. Look, there he is. Look at that. We, I taped him up, standing right great. Look at that. It looks so good on the wall. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's ask someone. Hey, Skeletor, what do you think? How's he look? I have a bone to pick with him. He stole my look. Well, Skeletor, you ain't got nothing on our skeleton. Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And um, if you have any ideas for future 
crafts that we could do, be sure to let me know on any of my social media, you know, like on comments or um, on my Instagram or uh, at my Facebook pages, whatever. Please let me know because I'd love to make them. Anyways, see you next time. Enjoy and happy early Halloween. Woo! 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 I'm a little hungry. <laughs>